For the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I will have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got justice, and it's with the Knight of Wands. Now, justice actually deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. So, it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. And I say this because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. This can sometimes be as difficult and demanding as it is when we're up against something that is completely of your own making so make sure you don't blame yourself unnecessarily now when you get justice if you're directly involved in a court case it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor now justice is with the knight of wands knight of wands it's showing that it's a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, you should be feeling charged up, full of energy, ready, ready to get things done. Your confidence is increasing as the Knight of Wands, which should help reach towards any goals that you have. The, knight, the Knights are often message bearers, and the messages, they're likely to be positive, can be related to work or career, or family romance any projects that you have they are likely to be more successful than you would have predicted or expected the knight of wands usually have well they usually have reasons to feel pride so basically the recent past energy between you and your person leo just as clarified by this Knight of Wands. So, I'm getting that you and your person, something happened. Something happened to your person. Yeah, your person is this Knight of Wands here. Your person could be fearless, the fearless type, very brave. They, they could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really confident. This person um, probably, I don't know, they could have been a player, could have been. Maybe they played you, or they were a player, they were in and out. Some type of energy like that. But anyway, you felt like this person did you wrong. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if you feel like they played you, or something they did that you felt it wasn't right it just wasn't right because we got justice here that you up there you you're balling your fists up and you're forcing it you're forcing your fist forward with a lot of power like bam finally justice has been served so you might have could have found out something happened to this person and you, you're probably thinking you got what you deserved that's what you're thinking you're thinking payback hurts doesn't it justice has been served so you feel justified you feel satisfied that this person they got back what they gave to you karma yeah you know what they say about that lady named karma whatever you put out to you to the universe whatever you put out to people 
it comes back to you. Some people say three times as big. Some people say ten times as big. So you found out that your person, something happened to them, and you just feel like, wow, it was supposed to be that way. They got what they deserved. Because this person, I don't know if this was your love interest. This is a love reading. So for most of you, it's a love interest. But for some of you, this is a friend or a family member. Yeah. So you found out something happened to someone that did not do you right. And you're like, bam. Justice has been served. You're socking it to them with your fist. That's what she's, she's got her fist balled up and she's like, bam. And it's so funny. I don't know if you can see the details of the justice card. But um, it, the justice card is the card above the word pass. Anyway, she's got a pomegranate. You know that fruit? She's got it in her hand, in one of her hands. The hand that's down at her hips. And it looks like she took a big bite out of it. And if anyone has ever had a pomegranate, they know how you know how tough that skin is. So anyway, she's feeling powerful that her person got paid back. I don't know what this person did to you, Leo, but yeah, you felt like justice has finally been served. Anyway, that's enough of that, but let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the King of Cups, and it's with the Devil card. Now the King of Cups, it speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. He holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often it indicates a man in your life, and usually when it represents a live person, it's referring to a very kind and loving type. They'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. When you get this card in a reading, it's all about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is, when you get the King of Cups. So nurture yourself and allow your person to nurture you. Now, it's with the Devil card. The Devil card, just know that no matter what your situation is, you always have options to choose from first things first. Don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure that you're coming to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You could have the feeling that you're not in control of your life. Now, this could happen as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction. So take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control, even if it's just a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Because small baby steps, they're important too. So basically, coming up for you, Leo, King of Cups, clarified by this devil. So, it looks like, yeah, like I said, you found out something happened to your person, or, yeah, I'm going to say your person, but, like I said, for some of you, this is not a love interest. For, for most of you, it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. Excuse me. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to cough. Okay. So, you found out something happened. Because your person didn't, didn't do you right. They did you wrong. And you found out they got paid back. They got, karma came back and slapped them in the face. You found out about it. It looks like coming up, they'll be reaching out to you. Yeah, they'll be reaching out to you, being warm and friendly, loving. Try 
trying to offer you a cup of love. The King of Cups is a very loving energy. And what's in the cup? Love. So this person, they got emotions for you, Leo. Yeah, they do. But you know too much about this person. You know that they're very toxic. Because the devil card is about toxicity, addictions, obsession, greed, envy, materialism, jealousy, sexual lust. So you know this person brings a lot of baggage, a lot of devil energy, and here they come, being loving and compassionate, wanting to offer you their cup. But you know better, I think. Let's see what the challenge is. So we got the Two of Wands, and it's with the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Wands, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. With the Two of Wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. This can be business, it could be personal, it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if things are feeling out of balance for you, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's all about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for metaphorically and remain or get positive. Now, it's with the Five of Pentacles, which can point to a time when life is feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. So you might start to feel alone, but you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You could feel left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need, it will come. So basically, your challenge, two of wands, clarified by this five of pentacles. So... Leo, I'm getting that a lot of you, you have, a lot of you have two paths towards a future coming up. You've got two options. So you're trying, you got a decision to make, put it that way. Because if you look at the two of wands, it's a card above the word challenge. There's a wand on each side of this person. He's got his hand tied to one wand, but his back is to it. So it's kind of irrelevant, not as important, okay? But the other wand, he's got his ankle tied to it. He's looking directly in the eyes of that wand, and he's smiling. And his body language is in that direction. So you have to make a decision. You've got two options here. Or you got two options coming up that you don't know about. And your person that's trying to offer you this cup of love, um, yeah, they feel left out by you. Yep. Yep, they feel left out by you. Like I said, you know this person is very toxic. So, yeah, you leave them out in the cold. If you can see the picture of the Five of Pentacles. It's the card below the word challenge. Yes, she could not even get inside the door. And the dog is barking at her like, get out of here. We're done with you. So yeah, you left this person. You're leaving this person out in the cold. They're too much for you. And justice has already been served. They got back what they gave to you. Ten or three times as big. They were paid back for... Whatever dirt they did to you, 
and you feel satisfied, there's no need to open the door again. So, you go on with your decision making because you've got a couple of other options here. Whether it's what, whether it's with someone else or just two options towards the future. So, the outcome, we got the Six of Swords, and it's with the World card. Yeah, so the Six of Swords, it can indicate metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, usually the change is for the better. Whether it's internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. There is at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. It's actually about taking the time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery, it's going to be helpful. So, that's the Six of Swords. Yeah, now it's with the World card, which about, it, the World card is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost at the finish line in some way. So, don't quit now because you're so close. You're probably in need of some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work... There's a good chance that you're probably working too hard for far too little recognition and money. Now, it's going to be important, if this is the case, to toot your own horn a little, just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. So the outcome, the Six of Swords, clarified by the World Card. So, I'm getting that for a lot of you. You're really no longer bitter about what happened because you realize this person got paid back for whatever they did to you that was wrong. You, you know that what they gave to you, they got back. You know that karma slapped them in the face a few times for the dirt that they did to you. You know that they they got addictions. You know that they got issues. So you don't really hate this person. You, you might kind of feel sorry for them. But you know that it's time to close the chapter with this person. That's why the world card is here. Yeah, so you close the chapter. And like I said, there you try not to hate. So you might just friend zone this person. Because the Six of Swords, these two people in a boat or a canoe or whatever that is, it looks like they just got out of stormy, raging waters. And now there's, the waters are still. And they're moving into calmer waters. That's exactly what they're doing with each other. They're not holding each other's hands. They're not kissing, they're not smooching, they're not hugging. He's probably about five feet behind her or more. And she's looking at the work that she's got ahead of her for the rest of the week. And he's trying to figure out the best the best um, direction to, to get home. So there is no... You're trying not to have any bitterness. You kind of feel sorry for this person, so you you friend zone them. Yeah. Or if you don't friend zone this person, you just get together for you. Sh it's showing that you get together for a day or a night just to to move into calmer waters, just to make peace, and then you close out the chapter. You end the journey with this person. Yeah, the cycle is completing, and that's what you're doing. 
So, Leo, I hope you enjoy the reading. As you know, these readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of you. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading. Just in case this didn't resonate, maybe the next reading will. I can never say enough, Leo. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And thanks for staying up with me tonight. It's really late. It's past midnight. I'm sure you can tell. It sounds like I'm about to fall asleep, but anyway, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Have a great day. Take care. Have a great day. Take care.